Good morning, folks. New sunspots born on the south overnight. We're going to review our star, a cool exoplanet, long cycles in the galaxy, and a note on climate at the end. We're starting with the sun and can see several active regions, including the new ones, and one which is embedded within the larger coronal hole area on the south. We have not seen much of eruptive activity, but there is a small rise in solar flaring here on the X-ray flux, and the plasma filaments incoming appear to be relatively active as well. We will monitor those for eruptions in the coming days, but let's go right to the articles and begin with an exosolar world they say is covered in water, a real-life water world. Several of the latest technological advances in satellite and telescopes are contributing to their finding more exoplanets and more interesting exoplanets at that. Fascinating piece here on how Earth's history just got thrown into question after a 200 million year cometary cycle was discovered and tied to our solar system's passage through the galactic spiral arms. What's interesting is that in an online preprint that won't hit physical copy until October, they discovered the same periodicity in magnetic field activity. Every 200 million years, we go into a hyperactive magnetic field state with much more common reversals. Obviously, right now, we're more worried about the 12,000-year geomagnetic excursion cycle seemingly resetting at this moment, but the picture is best when complete from big to small. Last but not least, an agreement and a strong disagreement run with this one. Over a thousand scientists have signed on to call out the modern climate models as simply being functions of what the modelers want to see. For example, when their money comes from global warming stockpiles, they have no incentive to discuss the solar particle forcing, cosmic rays, the global electric circuit, or geomagnetic variation. Within the document, they list every single signatory by country, and there are indeed quite a lot of them. But, their calling out the models as being flawed is about where my agreement with this document ends. We absolutely are in a climate emergency, also one of economics and politics and culture if I may tangent for a moment. But truly, what's happening with the magnetic field of Earth right now, the shifting magnetic poles, and what's expected on the Sun the next several years? is absolutely an environmental catastrophe on our doorstep. If you recall, every one of these cyclic events results in wild climate swings, volcanic upticks, and the disappearance of species, a climate emergency, just not the one you hear about on TV. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more with our playlists and books below the video. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.